Hello everybody, so I thought I would show you all kind of our like homeschool curriculum and I say that lightly because I just found this two weeks ago because we are doing letters and I thought this would help uh, some of you who may be homeschooling because I just think this is awesome. So um, as you all know, my niece um, does not like any workbook activity or anything like that. Um, so it's really difficult to kind of teach her things. I found ways to incorporate learning with play. In, in the toddler's activity video that I made, which I will put the link down below if you have not seen it, um, we are outside and we're like playing with like Mundo and she loves that kind of stuff. She loves playing with Mundo or beans, anything. She's, very, she's a very sensory um, type kid. So we, so I kind of have to include learning with things that she can touch and play with. So anyway, so a little update about her, because it's, it's probably been about a month, a month and a half since we've like homeschooled. Um, we work on our colors pretty much daily, and this is like a daily activity, like what color shirt do you have on, what color is this, that type of thing. Um, she pretty much knows all her basic shapes. She does get confused a little bit with them. Um, I was trying to introduce like more geometric shapes like um, pentagon and um, trapezoid and those type of shapes, but she was just confusing them. So I'm just sticking to the basic shapes. So um, about two weeks ago, I found a website that has a bunch of letter um packets or letter yeah letter themed packets and um and so i've been printing those out because now i figured we will kind of introduce all the letters i'm not really like pressuring her to remember every single letter um I, this is just basically kind of like an introduction to all the letters so if you've seen my day in a life video which i will put down below we were playing with the um, alphabet sheets that I got from Walmart for like 50 cents. Can you believe 50 cents? So um, we've been um, playing with those. I wanted to do something more that had the letters incorporated in it. So I found these letter packets, these themed letter packets. And for each letter, they have like a theme or a animal um, to it. And um, so... You click on that and it gives you a whole bunch of things to print out. Now I only print out the things that I know that she can do or will do. There are some like writing things that I know she's not ready for so I don't print those out. So um, I will show you um, the letter that we started last week. So I've been reading that you are not supposed to teach kids in alphabetical order because that's the way I was going to start with. <laughs> but um, apparently you're not supposed to do that because um, some letters are harder to learn than others and some letters are easier to memorize so um, they kind of go based on that so I will leave that link down below of kind of the alphabet that um, you can follow if you're teaching letters so the first letter to, that they recommend you start off with is the letter B so we have so we did this last week which is Ben the Bear and I put it in this folder for now and with Ben the Bee is these cards which you have to find the little bee and then you take a clothes pin and then you, you're supposed to clip it to the letter I can't do it I only have one hand but there's that and then there's you know what begins with B so there's all these little cards that start with B so there's basket balloon begins with B and she likes this. We were kind of reviewing today, and she um, um, is very into animals. <laughs> and I said, who lives in the barn? <laughs> so we were going through all the animals that could live in a barn. So there's that. And um, there's also these, which I don't, I thought I had a hole punch, just one single like hole puncher, but I don't. So I have to get one because I really like this idea that I think she will really enjoy. You're supposed to hole punch the holes, put 
yarn or string through the through the circles to make a letter B. I think she would really enjoy that because that's hands-on. So um, there's that. There's big B and little B. And then there's these, which I probably won't print out again because it's basically it's basically these cards. So there's letter B, what begins with B. Then there's these dot ones, but she's not really interested in the dot pens, which is a shame. Um, there is the letter B poem, which I did not print out for our next letter because um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can memorize that in no time. And then there's this that I thought I would do, but um, I don't have popsicle sticks, so um, you're supposed to cut it out and it'll be like a little puppet. But I, I think she'll like that too. So there's that, and I keep that in our little, um, in this little folder. And I also print out these, these letters. These are the big B, big B and little B. And what I did was I just colored it and laminated them. So everything is laminate. These are laminated. This is laminated. And this is laminate. And these are laminated too. Um, I got a laminator. I will show you all because that's part of homeschool. Is the laminator? Is the Scotch laminator that I got at Walmart for? was under I think $25 I think it was like $24 um, somewhere around there but with everything I print out I use this cardstock paper that I also got at Walmart I think it was pretty cheap I want to say it was under five bucks or was somewhere around there um, and this is how much paper it says 100, 150 sheets so I use that and then I use the laminator to laminate our things and so the letter we are working on this week is the letter M, which is Molly the monkey. And so here is the cards that she likes, and then there's these ones. And I won't print out this again for next for our next letter because it's basically um, what's in here. So I just want to save as much paper and ink as I can. So here's all the letters of the alphabet taped up. It's not straight at all. That that side's crooked. <laughs> So, um, so there's that, and here is, um, the big M and little M that we are doing this week, and I'm thinking of maybe putting these, um, excuse the phone, I'm thinking of putting these lower, because I think she likes to point at them, and she can't reach all the way up there, obviously, so, um, here's where I put the letter of the week. So big M and little M and I have her kind of like trace it with her finger and then onto the side we have our like little felt board whatever you want to call it I just taped she likes doing this so I just taped it up with this painter's tape <laughs> and just put our shapes on there so um, she has full access to all the shapes so that's awesome so that is our little um, so that is our little, so that is, so this is basically our curriculum or what, what I'm doing now with her. So I hope you all enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.